Oh, right, you tubers, welcome back to War Thunder with the Angry Nerd. And a couple of videos ago, someone suggested to me that I should check out the Gepard or the Flak Panzer 38T. And I'm very glad that you suggested that to me because this vehicle is quite fun and entertaining. Now, the skin that's on this vehicle today was once again created by he who shall not be named link down in the description to his war thunder live profile i hope it is back up by now okay so back to the gepard the flak panzer 38t was a german self-propelled anti-aircraft gun used during world war ii it was designed around the chassis of the LT-38, a pre-war Czech design, which following the German occupation was produced for the Wehrmacht as the Panzer 38T until it was no longer effective. Now if you would like some more information about the Panzer 38T, you can hit the videos tab here on my channel and look back and find a video on the 38T itself. As the vehicle used the Aust M chassis, the engine was located near the middle of the vehicle and the armament was placed at the rear in a specially designed armored section. The superstructure could fold down to allow 360 degrees of traverse at low elevation. As its folding superstructure allowed for a very low negative 5 degree elevation, the Flak Panzer 38T was often used against enemy infantry and unarmored or lightly armored vehicles. The Flak Panzer 38T was intended to be issued to the anti-aircraft platoons of each tank battalion in a Panzer division. Most of the Flak Panzer 38Ts were issued to Panzer divisions on the Western Front. The remainder served on the Eastern Front. Including the single prototype, 141 Flak Panzer 38Ts were built from November 1943 to February 1944, entering service in 1944. At this stage of the war, the single 20 millimeter flak main armament was no longer sufficient to ward off enemy aircraft and the flak panzer 38t became easy prey for allied fighter bombers now in war thunder the capard is a rank one with a battle rating of 2.0 it has a 181 horsepower engine propelling the 9.8 ton vehicle to a top speed of 26 0.1 miles per hour. It comes equipped with one 20 millimeter Flak 38 cannon, which with a max crew, you can achieve a reload of 1.2 seconds. Okay, so now for the opinion portion of the video. This thing is a blast to drive. Um, that 20 millimeter cannon, once you get the good ammo, can really do some serious work. And that um, reload of 1.2 seconds is blistering. I mean, like you fire, reload, fire. It's very, very quick. And you can whittle down an enemy vehicle uh, in no time. Uh, you will have some trouble if you have to engage multiple uh, vehicles because this thing is very very lightly armored and any type of he round 
um, or fragmenting AP round will pretty much just do you in. Um, you got no, no um, survivability whatsoever. Um, but this thing is is great fun. I've really enjoyed playing it, and um, so why don't we hop into a game and see what we can do with the Flak Panzer 38T Gepard. Oh, all right, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I've been having fun with this thing. Carpathians, we picked up Carpathians. Okay, okay. What side am I going to come out on? I'm not sure exactly where I want to go. Okay, we came out on the southern side. I got, um,. All of one ammo type loaded. So I think I'm gonna head over here toward B. Um, the south southeasternmost point. Let's see if I can defend that cap. Somebody coming with me. At least it's not an M2A2. This thing's low speed maneuverability is not great, but it, it does good once, once it gets up ahead of steam. The turret traverse is really quick. The fire rate is really quick. I won't get sniped from the left over there. It's not a super long range engager, so I mean it can kill some light vehicles from a little distance, but not across the map shots, really. Alright, I see some red. I'm going to try to use this heel to mask me just a little bit. Let's see. Look how quick that, there you go. Look how quick that reload is. All right. Go ahead, push on up and spot for me. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> the AI. <laughs> the AI ran right into me. Still got a uh, back here. Okay, this is their main avenue of approach for the B cap, and I'm going to try to cut it off. Find me in position up here where I can defend this point. I'm not too far out in the open. There's somebody can't tell how far behind that rock they are. That's a T-28. 
28, I'm not doing much against it. One vehicle pulling in front of the other one got me distracted. Oh, they're hitting me with the arty. Arty can be dangerous, but uh. I got a decent spot if I get too far out in the open. I'm subject to getting sniped down this road. Okay, whoo! Survive the Artie Barrage. right up there beside me. And luckily he didn't swing that 37 millimeter around and take me out. A little bit behind that rock. take care of him with some arty so I don't have any a good shot on him oh he's coming with the arty fire again Lucky, that's two arty strikes I've survived in this tin can. Very lucky. Is anybody else gonna push down this road? They may have learned their lesson. a tad here. Scanning. I've already got some friendly troops sitting actually right in the cap. Okay. Not not bad, not bad. Let's see what the results reveal. Okay, we came in first place on the team. All right. 
we got multi strike again shadow strike streak one shot I don't know how adamant Avenger Sentinel professional ground wind streak and heavy metal hero 13 ground units destroyed three assist first place 26,248 and 11 player kills all right let's save it Okay, so the, the Flak Panzer 38T Gepard. Um, this thing is a little beast. Um, that fire rate, you saw I took out an M3, I took out a Panzer IV. Um, those need to be side shots though. Don't think you can face off uh, and engage that vehicle. Uh, in the front where the armor is the thickest and come out on top of that one. You got to get those uh, vehicles from the side. Pretty much all of your engagements should be taken from the side if you have the opportunity um, to do so. You'll be much more effective that way. But the uh, lighter um, skin, um, the M2s and the Panzer IIs and stuff like that, those can be um, engaged from the front um, yeah I like the Gepard if you if you haven't went down this line um, yeah run through the trucks and uh, get to this thing and this leads you to the uh, Flak Panzer Werbelwind which is also great fun it's just a, a little higher tier but uh, yeah th this is nice um, so I hope you enjoyed this look at the Gepard. If you liked the video, like it. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. Nerd out.